A very good day to all our viewers and thank you for tuning into Polymer Update TV, the world's first and only TV network with a free daily petrochemicals news show. We are thrilled to have you here and if you are keen to expand your knowledge by accessing our free news, please don't forget to subscribe. Your support is deeply appreciated by all of us at Polymer Update. Our broadcast today is sponsored by South Korea's Direx Polymer LLC. Direx Polymer LLC is a JV company between DL Chemical and Rex Tech, both recognized as industry leaders in their respective fields for high-quality polymer, capable of satisfying a wide range of applications and adhesive needs in different markets. Direx Polymer's plant, with a capacity of 40,000 metric ton per year, manufactures APAO products from their world-class Yosu complex in South Korea, equipped with state-of-the-art facilities. You are watching the Petrochemical Market Synopsis with me, Bradley Thompson. It is Wednesday, May 31st. Let's start with energy news. Crude oil prices fell on Tuesday on rising concerns that efforts to pass a crucial deal to raise the U.S. federal government's $31.4 trillion debt ceiling through Congress could face serious roadblocks as a few hard-right Republican lawmakers hinted that they would oppose the deal. Brent crude prices fell by $3.53 settling at $73.54 per barrel while WTI futures decreased by $3.21 settling at $69.46 per barrel. On Tuesday, open spec naphtha prices fell by $10 per metric ton at the $589 per metric ton CFR Far East Asia levels. In Asian market updates for polypropylene, polyethylene, and polyvinyl chloride. In polypropylene. This week, PP prices slipped in the Asian region. A persistently subdued demand sentiment coupled with surplus product avails in the region proved to be prominent factors in pushing prices lower. In Southeast Asia, PP raffia and PP injection grade prices were assessed at the $910 to $960 per metric ton CFR levels, both plunged by $50 to $60 per metric ton from the previous week. PP film and BOP prices were assessed at the $920 to $970 per metric ton CFR levels, both week-on-week -week tumbled by $50 to $60 per metric ton. PP block copolymer prices were assessed at the $930 to $990 per metric ton CFR levels, a steep fall of $50 to $60 per metric ton from last week. In India, PP raffia and PP injection prices were assessed at the $940 to $980 per metric ton CFR levels, both sharply lower by $40 per metric ton from last week. PP film and BOPP prices were assessed at the $960 to $1,000 per metric ton CFR levels, both week-on-week -week tumbled by $40 per metric ton. PP block copolymer prices were assessed at the $980 to $1,030 per metric ton CFR levels, a steep drop of $40 per metric ton from last week. In polyethylene. This week, LDPE, LLDPE, and HDPE prices were assessed lower in the Asian region. A sluggish demand undertone combined with the addition of new PP capacities in China continued to exert a bearish pressure on prices. Export orders of the plastics industry witnessed a downfall. Discounted offers and deals contributed to a third consecutive week of decline in PE prices in Southeast Asia. Global and regional producers were inclined to offer discounts to close transactions for June shipments as demand continued to be soft in a key market like China. The bearish undertone prevailing in the global PE markets has also impacted the purchase pulse in South Asia. In polyvinyl chloride, this week, PVC prices declined in Asia. Prices declined on account of a subdued market sentiment coupled with lower offers from overseas suppliers. The downtrend in prices was also the result of lowering of PVC futures. Demand was weak in India ahead of the onset of the monsoon season. A surge in import cargoes had led to Indian trading firms being burdened with excess cargoes which they are being compelled to sell below market rates, incurring a loss. That's all for today. Don't forget to watch our daily news video tomorrow to know more. This is Polymer Update, with me, 
Bradley Thompson from Polymer Update Virtual World. Many thanks for watching.